Hi all, so I'll hold this up so you can get a decent look at it, although we've got some lighting issues here because it's the afternoon and it's sunny. But this is a Crane Lake San Giovese. So first, before we go any further, of course, not a wine of the month club wine for Uncork Ventures. Uh, this is literally a $4 bottle of wine. So um, I'll also turn this so you can get a good look at the back, um, or at least a decent look. So you can see kind of flavor combinations plus um, the fact that uh, it is dry and not semi-sweet. So I thought this was interesting. So we've had a number of friends express that it's damn hard to buy wine when you know nothing about them. And it's inconvenient, especially if you're shopping with kids, to be looking at your phone the entire time and trying to look up and say, hey, is this a decent bottle or not? Especially when you're dealing with a low price point, often it'll take a few tries before you find something that has reviews that don't make you run the other direction. Um, so Crane Lake is kind of the first kind of, in my opinion, probably true competitor to Two Buck Chuck. Um, as Charles Shaw transitioned to only being sold at Trader Joe's um, or has only been sold at Trader Joe's, everybody else has been looking for uh, the kind of complement to that. Um, a lot of grocery stores and larger retailers have gone to their own branded stuff. Um, often that's in the $10 or so price point and so it's kind of left Charles Shaw with this uh, you know we want a 75 cent glass of wine just for the alcohol kind of thing to exist and no one else has been able to meet that price point and Crane Lake comes the closest um, so this is kind of an important part of if you're buying really really cheap wine um, so a you have to know what you're getting at so this is quote-unquote Appalachian California um, so it really we've talked about this a lot lately um, so this is not the Central Coast. This is not some place you've heard of. This is a nondescript vineyard in the Inland Valley of California where they can get, you know, 8, 10, 12 tons per acre, as much per acre grown as possible. Um, and, you know, you can see that. So San Giovese tends to be this kind of higher in alcohol wine. Um, this is 12.5%. So the reason why that happens is because the vines are being asked to produce as much as possible, not the most densely concentrated fruit. Um, this is also why this wine actually kind of works though, and this was drinkable, um, because San Giovese is something that takes heat well. And um, in the Central Valley, you're gonna water a lot and you're gonna have abundant heat and abundant sunshine. And what you have is this kind of overbloom. And at the end of the day, do you have something that's drinkable or not? It's really the only question that you should be asking for four dollars. I mean, we can go through tasting notes and stuff. And yeah, there's flavors of dry cherry and plum and that kind of stuff that's traditional for the grape itself. But really, four bucks. I mean, we can't ask too much, especially when you know we're talking you know fifty cents per bottle, ten cents for closure. You know, go you know you kind of, kind of go down the list and you realize that they're likely making a dollar at most on this bottle of wine. So let's keep our expectations in line. So is this drinkable? Yes, it is. Does it taste like wine? Yes. And they've actually done a pretty good job of keeping it, well, not a pretty good job, a really good job keeping it so it's dry. Um, so if you're looking for a $4 bottle, uh, Korean Lake San Giovese actually isn't that bad of a choice. Um, and so I will uh, give this one a thumbs up on effort and a thumbs up on um, choosing a grape that does well in hot climates. Um, too often in California, we see these cheap wines being Merlot or Cabernet. Um, that are cooler climate grapes than this. Um, so if you're choosing a cheaper, cheaper, cheaper bottle of wine, choose one that makes sense in a hot climate because they're not grown in a cold climate. There's no way to make the financials work. So once again, Mark Azelstein with Uncork Ventures. I hope everyone's having a good one.